Weren't you supposed to be back on Monday? I couldn't leave you for one more day. What is she doing here? And in your shirt. Mom. Mere peech peechhe, ye sab ho raha hai. Mom, I can explain. Didi. Didi, what are you doing? Didi. Didi, you don't have to leave. Did you see the way she looked at me? Didi, that's my mother, and I love both of you. The sooner you both get along, the better it is for everybody. Well, clearly she's not trying to get along. Didi, she has to. She will. Didi, I don't want you to leave. Please. I just go and talk to her and be right back. Please stay. Didi. And the craziest shit I've seen in a long time happened. Roger's mother comes home and finds our lovers cuddling on the seat. Didi, it turns out, is not wearing any pants and she's wearing Roger's shirt, which hilarious. Anyway, the strangest thing happens. Roger's mother, who is for some reason under the impression that they're not having sex or knows that they're having sex and actively wants to cramp their style, Says the only way Didi gets to stay is if she and Raj are not sharing a room. Ma, now there are two things we can do. Either she stays here or we go to a hotel together. What do you want? Fine. I'll agree on only one condition. What? <laughs> Show of hands. Who here can tell us what's happening? Because, good lord, what is this? You have a grown-ass man who cannot share a room and bed with his girlfriend because his mother is home. Because I'm guessing you can't bang your girlfriend in your house if your mother's in the same house? Okay, can someone explain it to me? Because she would sleep in that house with them if they had stood in front of family and friends in an expensive ceremony and sent a special government paper saying that they will bang no one but each other, right? So what's the difference? What difference does that magical government paper make to her if they bang without the paper? Does she hear them louder than she would if they had the special paper? I don't get that, but it's fine. I can get past it. What I can't get past is how Didi shares a room with his mother. Y'all crazy. Bitch, please. I got a home. I got friends who have couches. I'm out of here. I will not sleep with your mother. I just won't. Bye. It's especially strange because this woman does not like Didi and doesn't even pretend. So why would you as Didi sleep with her? And if you're Raj, why would you let that happen? I'm confused, y'all. Ja? 